Is this the culmination of a lot of hard work, or is it just the beginning? Something I love with schools is that everybody uses them. I think what we did today is we listened. We're getting ready to start our new project. Really putting together the community's plan and not just one person. It's going to be a better environment for the students. This new school is going to be amazing and it looks really fun. We got together and we sincerely pursued answers to the question is what is the facility that is going to best meet the needs of this community and through collaboration we came up with some ideas that are, we're going to build on and it is the foundation for that new school that might be here for another hundred years. Educational visioning is really a data gathering process in which we get all the feedback from really the end users and the community about their building. So we try to get a good sampling of the entire community. So we get, of course, staff, students, parents, grandparents, public officials as well. So today the mayor is here, representatives from the fire department and police department are here as well, school board members, everybody that we can, we try to get here. And if we get everybody's idea, we got a lot to consider, which is good, because people may think of something that we never thought of. In our school district, we focus on personalized learning. So we focus on what every kid needs. And I feel like our spaces aren't very adaptable for that at this current time. So just being able to get different perspectives and just an initial starting point, just hear different ideas and kind of mesh those ideas and see who wants what and what's important and just a great starting point for us. Putting together diagrams, ideas, group discussions, things like that, really putting together not just one professional's plan, but really the community's plan for a better school. So by going through this process, I feel like we can personalize those spaces to fit our students better than they are now. So we're trying to gather as much information as we can about what the community, what the students, the administrators, the staff all want in the project. And it's really a good time to kind of dream about what could be in the building. We're here because we are planning for our new school. Everyone is building like models of stuff to see new ideas other than what we have now. We're really trying to find out how the new school is going to be laid out and what we're going to do. And I'm excited for finally having air conditioning. That's one thing I'm finally happy for, and I'm just excited for the new school. Well, you know, doing all these activities and, and going up and writing your ideas on the wall of each in particular subject and trying to put together the best possible plan is, is really it's helpful, and I think it's definitely good to get everyone's thoughts. We actually got to look at a site map, and we're given foam blocks, which kind of color coordinated with our ones from the morning, and we could place those on the specific site to see kind of what would be facing where, what parts of the neighborhood, because our school is going to be smack dab in the middle of our village. It was harder than I thought it was going to be because I think there's so many different opinions, but then I think coming together and seeing that even though this is your priority and this is mine, that we, there's commonalities and being able to put those together and design something that works for everybody. So we'll take all that, spend a whole day here, put it all together, con condense it, and then kind of examine it and see what are some of the consistencies and what are some of the priorities. I, I actually was surprised at how similar the conclusions reached between different groups were. We all would like to see a great facility for our community, not just the students. And a lot of the same motivations for one group were, were radiating through all of them. It's challenging in the sense that obviously the existing school has to remain functioning and then also we've got to be sensitive to neighbors that are around it. So making sure that the scale of the new building is appropriate to the residential neighborhood that it's in. The other one that I'm trying to pay attention to is how they're treating their entries and admin pieces. There's been a lot of requests of kind of breaking that up throughout the building and making sure that it's accessible to students. I'm looking forward to the new gym, the classrooms will be fun. In fifth grade, I went down and I helped kindergartners read. And I do flag football and being able to see those kids in public and they're like, hey coach, and it's just like, I'm a senior in high school, but they still call me coach. They'll get the opportunity of talking to those uh, nine through 12 and it'll be a great experience. I'm looking forward to just having our instructional programs represented in the learning spaces. So that flexible learning space, um, flexible seating, being able to really use our instructional programs the way that they're intended to be used.
My original reason for getting onto the board was to make sure that all students had the same opportunity at a quality education. And this new school can do nothing but help them in that aspect. This new school is going to be amazing and it looks really fun. So the way we use this feedback is we actively participate in the, in the, in the visioning session today. So we gather it live and then we also document all of the, the boards, all of the, the notes, all of the plans, and then all of the 3D models that they'll put together. We'll be able to kind of categorize it, uh, see some of the same successes, challenges, some of the same comments, some of the same design features. What we did today is we did a lot of listening to one another about the needs of the, of the district, how that kind of fits into the needs of the community, because it is their school as well. So I think we did a lot of collaborative talk regarding needs. I love public education because I do believe it gives every person a chance to accomplish what they want to in life. And now what I love about being an administrator is I have an opportunity to have an impact over the entire educational career of a child. Kids that I handed diplomas to on Friday, I knew them when they were two years old, many of them. It was a great opportunity to see the impact that education can have on, on the lives of not only a kid but their family and now, from this perspective, an entire community.